Hello guys! Welcome to my vlog. Today, we will be talking about solids. But before anything else, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and click the notification bell so that you can be updated to our next videos. Without further ado, let's get started. What is solid? Solid is one of the four fundamental states of matter. The molecules in a solid are closely packed together and contain the least amount of kinetic energy. A solid is characterized by structural rigidity and resistance to a force applied to the surface. There are two main categories of solids, the crystalline and amorphous solids. They may look similar on the outside but are actually vastly different from the inside. We all know that solid is one of the states of matter but how many of us know that there are actually subforms of solids? For instance, just try comparing the properties of diamonds with those rubbers and the difference between the two would become so very obvious in the world of chemistry. Diamonds and rubbers are known as crystalline and amorphous solids respectively. Even though both of them are solids physically, chemically, they are vastly different from each other. Generally, crystalline solids are well-ordered at the atomic level and amorphous solids are disordered. By definition, crystalline solid, or also known as crystal, is a solid material whose constituents such as atoms, ions, and molecules are arranged in a highly ordered microscopic structure forming a crystal lattice that extends in all direction in a process called crystallization. These include snowflakes, diamonds, table salt, and many more. Anything that is crystal is an example of this category of solid. On the other hand, an amorphous solid is basically the exact opposite of crystalline solid. While an amorphous solid may place on finite order in terms of the arrangement of its atoms, ions, and molecules, it will clearly lack the long-range ordered structure that a crystalline solid exhibits. The arrangement of elements in amorphous solids is mostly random and disorderly. Because of this, when an amorphous solid is cut, they break into uneven pieces. Examples include window glass, rubber, plastics, gels, and many more. To conclude today's discussion, solids are characterized by an extended three-dimensional arrangement of atoms, ions, or molecules in which the components are generally locked into their positions. This is all about solids. I hope you have understood my discussion. This is your girl Shikaina saying, always keep moving forward. Goodbye everyone!